the zodiac calendar contains stories hidden behind symbolism. Within each passing month there is a certain amount of numbers subjecting to different planets within the solar system. Western astrology derived from Hellenistic astrology. This was based after Babylonian traditions. The division of 12 equal sectors is a Babylonian contraceptual construction. Within the 4th century BC, the Babylonian astronomy and its system of cholesterol omens influenced the Greeks. Within ancient times, there was no telescope to gave the heavenly bodies, but they did make remarkable calculations and determine seasonal outcomes. They used instruments from coin blocks or granite or pounded sheets of brass. The Chinese used bronze instruments looking like a telescope. This was formed of a hollow tube without lenses. Within biblical literature, there are references that the heavenly bodies had an influence of human destinies. For example, in the book of Judges, it states, and I quote, they fought from heaven, even the stars in the courses fought against the Caesarea. The word Zodiac came about from Greek literature. They demonstrated the heavenly star systems with a variety of animal representations. They titled it as little animals. Soon after, the Greeks and other nations, influenced with their own cultures, divided the Zodiac into 12 sections. These divisions was called the Houses of the Zodiac. As soon as the sun passed through each different zodiac sign, they traced imaginary creatures which then were sketched into star groups by projecting rectangles. They were classified as animal forms. They then soon got labelled as constellations of the zodiac. The New Testament was written in the form of Coin Greek. This language was well known throughout the Eastern Mediterranean lands. At this period of time, it was Alexander the Great who led the Greek conquest. The Bible has a heavy influence of astrology, which has been coded throughout the book. It contains hidden occult knowledge. It's based off astrological and numerological knowledge, where only a certain few people know its true interpretation. A great example is the number 12. This number is considered as a universal symbol of the cosmos. Almost every religion of the world has astrological influences. The Old Testament is writings overshadowed by Egyptian culture containing astrological and astronomical allegories. There is a great possibility that the story of Jesus and the Twelve Disciples actually represents the Soviet calendar. It has been coded in such a way which has been hidden from Christians as the roots of such information backdates to many centuries before Christianity. The Age of Pisces is represented as a fish symbol and within New Testament the fish is viewed and well documented throughout the texts. Within Matthew 14.17 it states, We only have five loaves of bread and two fish. When Jesus began his ministry walking in Galilee, he saw two brothers. They were cast in a net, for they were fishermen. When the disciples asked Jesus, When will the next Passover be? Jesus replied in Luke 22.10, And I quote, Behold, when ye entered into the city, there shall be a man meet you bearing a pitcher of water. Follow him into the house where he enters in. The man with the pitcher of water is known as Aquarius. Aquarius comes after Pisces. It is leaving an old age, stepping into a new age of knowing. The fish symbol with Jesus written inside actually derives from ancient civilizations who knew astronomical symbolism. This represented the sun and star constellations. It is the sun's kingdom at the age of Pisces. Christians observe Friday, which is sacred, which represents Venus as a virgin. On this day, Christians substitute meat for fish. 
as the fish is known to be one of the earliest symbols of Christianity. The cross itself symbolizes the four seasons of Earth. Each quarter contains a change of weather which impacts the environment. It seems the ancient scribes who coded the Bible for humanity is to understand the spiritual powers and connection to the divinity of God. As fire, air, water, earth and spirit are defined elements of the human creation. In Matthew 3.11 this is actually representing the fiery purification of the new man born within spirit. This is known as the Christ consciousness within. The solar song could be seen through many different cultures throughout the world, such as the Happy tribes, Vikings, the Nordics. These symbols were drawn on wall paintings throughout India. The Druids in Europe used such symbology. The Celtics also used the solar sun symbols, which is demonstrated in the religious cultures. In Christianity, people celebrate Easter using a man on the cross, but in historic origins, they did no such thing. The cross actually represents the north, south, east, and west of the earth. The sun declines in winter times, but then it is reborn on the 25th of December. At this point, it is orbiting towards the North Hemisphere, which they use the phrase of being born again. So when the sun declines, it is at the lowest part in the sky, known as the Southern Hemisphere. At this point, there is a constellation of stars that look like a cross. The rising of Christ is when he is upon resurrection within the northern hemisphere. Before this ascent, on the 22nd of December, the sun then reaches its lowest point by going deeper into the south. Before the sun rises again, it stays at the same degree on the horizon. The sun may glow for three days before rising on the 25th. This event sounds like a similar event of when Jesus had died and resurrected on the third day. Religious traditions such as the Hebrews celebrate this event as the Passover, while Christians celebrate it as the Resurrection. The Virgin Mother who gave birth to Jesus is similar in context comparing to the Egyptian prototype. Isis it was who had gave birth to the Son as Isis appeared on the temple of Sayus and he states, The fruit which I have brought forth is the Son. Earlier pagans associated the moon as a virgin. They knew that her position was a constellation in the heavens. Coptic Christians knew when the sun was in the northern hemisphere it was spring. It was the time of resurrection for plants and leaves to spout out again. The sun cross can be traced back to ancient Babylon. The Coptic symbology can still be seen today within many Christian illustrations and wall paintings of Jesus. The mother of Jesus was known as a virgin. The esoteric meaning of Mary is Virgo which is one of the signs of the Soviet calendar. The concept of Amen states an ending of prayer. The word Amen backdates to Egypt. It was pronounced as Anamra. This deity was known as the Supreme God of the Universe. So in reality, by ending prayer, you are sending it to the sun which God created. Throughout ancient lands, the sun was highly recognised with great importance within cultures and traditions. Just like today, you can see the symbolism within the Fataki and many picture paintings of Jesus. The sun god was a central position in the Sumerian and Akkadian religions. European people seen the sun symbol as divine power. 
Within the ancient Mayan traditions, the Aztecs did a lot of human sacrifices to the sun god. In Buddhist traditions, the sun is represented in cosmology 